Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I just got home from our normal Wednesday morning homeschool routine, which is we wake up, we go to mass at our nearby parish, and then from there we go grocery shopping and I usually pick up like a Dunkin' coffee on my way home. So we just got home. I have a little haul to show you guys and then I will continue to let you know kind of what goes on on our normal homeschooling day on Wednesdays, which is typically a little bit lighter because our morning schedule is taken up by mass and grocery shopping. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. So I got some sodas for us, one for me, one for Juan, and then a bunch of these for Juan. He loves his soda and these were actually a pretty good deal. I'll put the prices on the screen so that you guys could see Juan did say that for a six pack, this was a good price. I redeemed a lot of Ibotta things today. If you haven't heard of Ibotta, I'll put my referral code on the screen and link a video for you to follow along and see like how it works. But these, I got a rebate and we obviously digged into them shortly after checking out. I'll add a little cute clip here. These are chocolate granola. They're all chocolate. I have many chocolate chips inside. I love me yummy oatmeal. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> cute. You're welcome, Bubby. I love you. Can you give me your sweet smile? Got some frozen veggies. I think we're going to make like a chicken pot pie, like deconstructed crock pot meal in the future. Juan loves eating these. The kids love eating these. So got two of these little smokies. This was also an Ibotta redemption. So I got a rebate on these. I think for like my whole trip, I got a little bit less than six bucks back, which, you know, is pretty good. It's like a expensive Starbucks drink. So not bad but these are delicious. We're having a party coming up and I needed to get some salsa. These soups were also as, and I bought a rebate, so it was like I have to buy three of them, so I just picked up these three. I really love these yogurts. They're kind of like dessert for me, so I got some of the key lime pie as well as raspberry, and this also, you had to get five, but this was an I bought a rebate as well. Some sour cream for our upcoming party. I like to have sugar on hand and I noticed that my brown sugar was running low. The kids love these little jellos with fruit in them, so made sure to pick up these. And these were actually, and I bought a rebate as well, which is really great. And then we got a bunch of produce, bananas, grapes, and apples were the fruit. And then for the party, I'm gonna make some guac. So I got some avocados and some tomatoes. I already have some onions, got some lettuce. We're gonna make like a seven layer bean dip or something and then cauliflower because I'm on a cauliflower kick. So let's go ahead and get this put away and then I have to start doing some homework with Aubrey. And while I'm working, the kids are gonna be exploring one of our toy boxes. <laughs> So I got the stuff put away. I am leaving out five apples because I'm hoping to cut them up and freeze dry them. I also wanna freeze dry some candy. So we'll get some of that done. Playing hide and seek, Bubby. Uh, the kids, in, in order to make room in the fridge, I like pulled this out and then the kids broke into it. I made some pumpkin bread chocolate chip muffins. So I might enjoy some of that for my breakfast. And then also in the fridge, I discovered the sourdough loaf 
that I prepped yesterday. I didn't film it, uh, but if you guys are interested on how I make sourdough, I'll link that video up above. Uh, but I need to score this and bake this, so I gotta get my oven started. Just a couple last minute things before we get into homework. That is kind of the nice thing about homeschool is that, you know, if I'm like right now, I'm like 20 minutes into what should be the English portion of our day, it's fine. Aubrey usually works a lot quicker than what I have allotted for. So we probably will still finish in time. And even if we don't, it's like another 10 minutes or something into the next section and it's very flexible. What do you want to say to the camera, Bubby? Oh, where did Bubby go? Oh no. I'm in hot. <laughs> so let's see, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do the sourdough and then we will, I'll eat something and then we'll get into homework. You might have also noticed I made some extra cold foam for my coffee. When I picked it up, it was like disintegrated. I didn't get to enjoy it. And I wasn't gonna complain because I got this one for free because of my points. So I figured I'd just make my own. You do not have to be good Even the best of us have been misunderstood So get up on your feet The sun is shining repentance through the rain. Its rays will wash you clean. I'm walking slowly, I'm taking my time. All I like of talking is starting to run. Just can't get enough of this beautiful life. I just can't get enough of this beautiful life. You do not have to be known. Even the best of us have sometimes felt alone. This whole world is your home. So reach out your branches, lay your roots back to the soil, and watch the rain help you grow. I'm walking slowly, I'm taking slowly I'm taking my time all I like of talking is starting to rhyme I'm letting go lonely letting go all right so I sent the kids off to Bubba's room to play so that I could make sure I have all the toys back in this box so a lot of the times, you know, I'll encourage the kids to help me at least get everything into the box and then I take it all out and I make sure everything's there. I really like to do an inventory to make sure that there's no like one piece missing. 
while I was cleaning, I did find this piece and I know where this goes. So I will be putting this away too. It really helps me like feel like our, our house is in order when I know that there's no missing piece. There was a while like ago, like I knew one piece was missing and I left a little note in the box and then eventually it came up and I was, I was happy to be able to put it away and you know, mark that off as like, that's taken care of, I don't need to worry about it anymore. As far as homework goes, we finished pretty much everything that Aubrey needs to do except for spelling, which is kind of like a new introduction to our schedule. So I do need to kind of like retweak how I approach our school schedule. And my goal was to have a plan for like a three month period and then be open to changing it and, you know, maybe rearranging some things so that our life flows better. And so now with this new course, integrated into our curriculum, I need to take care of that. So I will be doing that with her probably after I get Jack down to sleep and it is his nap time now. So I will be reading to the kids in our cleaned up family room until he falls asleep. I'll transfer him to his room, work with Aubrey for a little bit, and then I will check back in with like the other tasks that I want to get done today. Okay, just kidding. It's not nap time yet because Jack will refuse a story. He actually wanted me to break out his toy trains. So he's building that right now. Does it need his new batteries? No, but it in the car. Okay. Would you like me to fix it? Fix it. Say yes, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, get the battery. Yeah, I'll get you new batteries. You did a great job. Can you show me your tracks? You do? Mm -hmm. So soon? Yeah, because my kids need me to watch over our baby. We have a little and a baby. Oh, really? So no. the baby's time to go in the portal, so we need to go. Okay, well, can I get a close up of the makeup you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, so beautiful. As you guys saw, Aubrey was a queen. She went through a portal. Um, Aubrey went to go visit the other princesses through the portal and the queen came to visit us, but I think the queen's going back now. And I guess we're just gonna play trains a little bit longer until I manage to sit down and get these kids on my lap to read them a story. But as I said before, I will check back in after Jack is sleeping in his room. So I finally got Jack down for a nap and went outside and collected my eggs. And Aubrey is in her day day as well. I think she's actually choosing to take a nap, which is really great because we have gymnastics tonight. So she, you know, gets some more energy to stay up a little bit later and have gymnastics class. So right now, while the kids are sleeping, I am going to watch a show on our TV while I work with freeze drying this candy. So I'm gonna be doing some sour Skittles. I have some random like airheads that I wanna do, these little gummy bears. I don't know if there's anything left in this bag. It feels like there could be something in here. And then I wanna try a new technique. I have freeze dried these caramel apple pops on the stick and they just really puff up, but I also wanna to try to make little bites out of them. So I'm gonna try a new technique there. And then once those guys are in the freeze dryer, I'm gonna to try to start preparing these apples to go in the freeze dryer when they are done, probably after I get back from gymnastics, which probably won't be filmed, but 
you know, it, it is what it is. Plus the apples take at least like a whole day in the freeze dryer. So it's not like they'd be in this little afternoon or day in the life anyways. So hopefully all of this candy will, you know, be a success and the caramel apple pops, the new technique I'm gonna try, hopefully that will work out too. So let's get working on this candy. I've climbed the mountains in Montana Danced in the lights of New Orleans Portland ran away with me And San Francisco stayed with me Nashville made its way in between Fell in love in Minnesota and Fell apart south of Seoul Never change, but I wanna know how it feels to hang pictures on a wall. Sleep in the same bed at night. I want reasons to stay, I want someone to take up my time. To miss me when I go. So day day time is almost to an end. It is almost four o'clock. I got Jack down a little bit later than I usually do. So I'm letting him sleep a little bit longer than I usually do. So I'm gonna wake him up and open up his blinds right now um, so that he'll naturally wake up hopefully within the next 10 minutes. So the candy has puffed up, but it still has to be in the freeze dryer for like another three and a half hours. So while that's going, I'm gonna just get to preparing the apples for the freeze dryer and making some dinner. And then soon enough, it'll be time for me to take Aubrey to gymnastics. So let's go ahead and do that now.
Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found some motivation to get stuff done or just were entertained by watching us go through our day. If you are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.